What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Janiqua, and I'm back with another reading for you guys. Let's hop into a love reading. I don't know. I was getting love today, so I'm going to follow my spirit, and let's do a love reading and see what is going to come out and what wants to come out, all right? So, spirit, tell me what I need to know about this love energy that I was feeling. One more shuffle. So bad health. Someone could be really stressed. Someone, someone could be 31. Someone could be suffering with um, suffering with anxiety. All right. A main male. So there's a main male that possibly could be 31 or March 1st or March 2nd or March 11th could be significant. But they are maybe in bad health right now. I'm not thinking about something very, very serious or it might maybe you want to go check up on them. But I'm getting more so depression, unhealthy habits and addictions. I'm getting that there's a main male that possibly could be under a lot of spiritual attacks, spiritual warfare, self-doubt be going through a lot of different changes and challenges right now and is really not seeing a way out all right so if you are dealing with this person you might be in separation for from this person and this person is going through this or you might be the divine masculine take it how it resonates but there's definitely a main male in this story that is possibly going through some sort of depression anxiety mental blockages unhealthy behaviors and habits around unhealthy people and it's just not in um the best of health right now all right this masculine um can be going through some type of custody battle court battle or um, is trying to release themselves from some type of courtship or partnership or commitment that they have made or they are in. This could possibly have been going on for four years now, um, this battle, or them feeling like they are unhealthy or this, you know, relationship that they are in. It is really bringing them to a state of bad health. All right. I do not see. And even, I, you know, we could say that it would be the female. Right. But look on the bed. Look on the bed. This masculine. It's a it's a male on the bed. You know, I'm also getting that this male, though. Thank you, spirit. This male has been receiving some sort of support, maybe some sort um, some sort of. A positive influence or nurturing um, energy that has been maybe trying to relieve any pain or any suffering that they may have been going through well check this out to see who this is maybe that's you maybe that's somebody else but I do see that this masculine is in some type of courtship or partnership or long-term high-level commitment all right that they are really really uh, not having the greatest success story in and bad health, bad shape, not really making responsible decisions and unhealthy thoughts is what I'm getting mainly. All right. There's somebody that's helping this masculine and just, just maybe a support system or soothing their uh, emotions and pain. Okay. But that's what I see right now. Okay. So we're going to see what is this? Yeah, so um, I think this masculine is starting to um, kind of receive the help from whoever this is. And they are realizing that they don't want to spend another term and another cycle in a state of bad health. 
And what they actually want to do is work on themselves. They want to work on their um, inner child trauma. I'm hearing that this masculine may have been um, through a childhood where they may have to do a lot of the mending and a lot of the, you know, just a lot of doing things on their own. I felt like this masculine may have um, been raised in an environment where a lot of the adults weren't really focusing on them, but rather focusing on their own activities, right? And, you know, sometimes because the star also is the healing card. It comes after the tower. And the tower is a major, major revelation in your life where it shakes you off your tracks. But it's the, it's the revelation that is needed that kind of makes you grow into the person you are and more aligned on the path of purpose. So with this, I feel like this masculine is gaining some type of healing energy again like i said the star comes after a traumatic traumatic time and maybe this masculine has went through some type of traumatic traumatic time such as a tower moment and a connection all right and you know it put him in a bad state and it allowed him you know that's why i feel like if this masculine would have never went through this bad experience with this partner, okay, they would have never had the time to sit and focus on their dreams. I feel like even though this bad health may seem bad, I'm getting it as the sit down you need from spirit, like spirit will sit you down if you are not focusing on your purpose. And your dreams and what really makes you happy. And sometimes when you get into a relationship, you lose yourself. You lose yourself. You lose yourself as a man. And the only reason why I'm saying man, because as you can see, this is a main man here. You lose yourself as a man. You lose yourself, you know, as a person. Whether you're a man or a woman. Okay? So, again, I feel like this... This bad experience or this traumatic experience in this relationship that this masculine is in was to show him and to sit him down to realize the direction that he was going. To realize that he is being pulled further and further away from his dreams and his hopes and his desires because this relationship somehow is keeping him in negative energy in a negative vibration that's causing him negative and unhealthy habits and health all right i feel like this courtship and negative experience that this masculine is having in this connection has caused him to sit down Right, because spirit will force you to sit down. You never went to the hospital. You had to sit up in a in a hospital for a couple of days, and it caused you to really think about certain stuff. That's what's happening, and it's an unfortunate situation where this masculine has to be in bad health. But this masculine is able to sit and think about his childhood, how he was raised. Maybe he's attracting things because no one paid attention to him. And he was left alone building things on his own. Now, this is not saying he had an unhealthy childhood because you don't have to have an unhealthy childhood or get beat a lot for you to not feel recognized. So I think that's what it is, too. Like this masculine may have felt misunderstood as he grown, grown into an adult because he was forced to make right wise decisions. He was forced to, you know, work on himself and make um make some sense of himself. But as an adult, you're just attracting what you look on the outside and then it lacks emotions. It 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 lacks true healing. And maybe this courtship lacked true healing. 
maybe this courtship lacked true bonding and it was just superficial what it looked out like on the outside picture perfect is what i'm hearing but in all reality everyone was doing something different everyone was working on something different all right this masculine was forced to sit up and really realize the, the, the turn of events that is affecting their health. And that they need to sit back and heal and realize what is really important to them in their life. And how 2023 is coming. And they want to be on top. And have them balance. Not on the bottom in this dark energy. With this courtship. All right, so I do see a cycle closing and it's definitely on the horizon. It's definitely, it may not be solidified and official yet, but it's definitely on the horizon, okay, that this chapter is being closed because of some type of, you know, again, bad health. This will happen when you are not focusing on your feelings and how your body is 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 making you feel when you only focus on your outside when you only focus on others and how you look in front of others and how people view you and how you are being viewed in the lens of others you ignore the signs and the synchronicities of your body divine masculine And if you are smart enough and wise enough and know that everything happens for a reason, you will learn. You will not doubt yourself. You will not fault yourself, but you will, you will say, okay, this is my time to sit down. We are in retrograde. We are in retrograde. Retrograde until January, I think, 17th. This is a time, if you are in some type of bad health, this is a time for you to heal. Recognize where you're going in life and how far you was being pulled from your dreams because of some type of relationship and realize the real lesson of this negative experience instead of just trying to call it a negative experience. Realize the lesson that now you have the time to sit up, even if you're in a hospital, even if anything, now you got the time to sit up and think about this connection, thinking about how you was once a really a real official person is what I'm getting. And now you are in complete and in a state of negative and bad health. It gives you a time to really, you know, close out a cycle of feeling like you gotta do everything alone, but yet you in a house full of people. That's where it usually hurts at because right here you would think that this house is filled with all love and light and 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 so much brightness and all reality everybody just doing their own thing even down to the children that's why you're never supposed to compare your relationships to anything because y'all over here may think that this masculine is living a life and doing all of this stuff and all reality this masculine is in deep and bad health whether this is physical or just in a state of depression Okay, I see again this masculine choosing to work on their inner child here. I'm strongly getting inner child and realizing that life is not all about having to do things alone. Life is not all about creating the picture perfect life, but really feeling alone and unsupported. This comes from ch childhood. This masculine is focusing on their dreams. And there may be, being that I see a woman energy, this, this feminine energy, no matter who this feminine is in their lives, may be a nurturing energy. May be an energy of teaching him how to work on their childhood. This could be a friend. This could be a co-worker. But there's a feminine that's teaching this masculine and being there for him and guiding him through this process. All right. That's teaching him about cycles, about the moon and the stars, maybe. 
this feminine might be a feminine that really um, loves astrology and really believes in healing, which is a great energy to have. Tell me more about this woman that's helping this masculine, please. Who is this woman helping this masculine? Look, this woman or this divine feminine that's helping this masculine is also helping herself. This feminine has enough energy within themselves to provide some type of healing, knowledge, or words of wisdom to this divine masculine. Because this feminine is very, very educated themselves. They probably sit there and study all day. They probably, what I say, what did I say? This feminine somehow is connected to the moon and the stars. And somehow believes in astrology. And here you go. Here you go. Literally working with the moon cycle. So this, this feminine definitely have some sort of healing energy and some, side, some sort of higher wisdom and knowledge that can be useful. Because also, what I see is that this divine feminine is very tapped in spiritually with this candle. So they provide some type of healing energy and some type of light where this masculine may feel like they don't have the energy to even push forward with the wisdom, the care, and the knowledge that this divine feminine has, whoever this is that is playing the role in this lives of nurturing this masculine back into life, back into this official person that I keep hearing he is. When I see this man, I see official, dressed nice, well suited up, educated, strong character. That's what it is. Y'all heard the question. I said, who is this? Who is this woman that is bringing this nurturing energy? It's a it's a it's a feminine that that really is very educated on a lot spiritually. This 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 woman or this divine feminine knows how to manifest. It is very very fruitful and abundant. This this divine feminine knows how to work with candles and with the moon cycles to make things come to fruition. So that is how this. You know, masculine may even feel comfortable with accepting any type of advice from this feminine because he knows that it's nurturing him back to life. He's He knows that whatever it is that is happening right now with this relationship that is going on, it is nurturing him, it's nurturing him back into the person that he once was. And that's, that's cool because not every relationship has to be about sex. You can see this, this is a nurturing relationship. You can't find that in a lot of people. And you have to be some, some type of nurse. You have to acquire some type of knowledge to be able to be put in that position. So that tells me a lot about this divine feminine that's helping him. She's filled with knowledge and, and wisdom and healing properties that can nurture somebody back to life. I'm hearing earth angel. Okay. Nurturing this masculine back to life, allowing, you know, him to focus back on his dreams by the insight that she provides from, you know, maybe her spirit guides, allowing this masculine to know that there's a deeper issue that needs to be worked on. Okay. So that way this masculine could close out the chapter of negativity and dark clouds. All right. Who is this um, woman in this courtship, in this relationship? We're going to ask about this feminine. Who is this feminine that is um, in this courtship with this divine masculine that's causing him some type of bad health? You think I should leave it? Yeah. Who is this woman that's causing this masculine some type of bad health? You're going to take that back. Ooh, it came out again, y'all. Oh, so this woman that is causing this masculine bad health is trying to be stingy 
and selfish without the, her time, her energy, her support, or her money. There may be a sense of selfishness when it comes to power struggle or stability here. Maybe this, um, this feminine that's in this courtship is trying to control a lot of the things with her finances here. As you can see, she's holding on to her pocketbook. So that's the issue here. This, this, this woman that is creating bad health with this masculine is being a shapeshifter. She's trying to be in control of all the assets, of everything, even the joy and excitement and fulfillment. By, I guess, you know, controlling something with some type of money here. Being two-faced. One minute acting nice. And then the next minute in a rage because of some type of financial issues. Is what I'm getting. And that may be causing this masculine in a state of bad health. Because they're thinking about their stability. They're thinking about how they show up in the world. They're thinking about their life. All right? Wow. Yeah, so that's what it is. This person, this, this female, acts one way and regular to the public and to the community. And then behind closed doors is like unleashing the devil is what I'm hearing over money. Or over some type of materialistic gains or fortune. Which is really causing, again, this masculine to be in despair. Probably feel scared about their life. <laughs> you know, if someone could be so two-faced like this. 22, 22, one minute they look regular as hell. Behind closed doors, they are a beast. Like, unleash the beast is what I'm hearing. Um, any more information about this healing energy that this masculine is receiving? Ooh, yup. This feminine that's healing this masculine is a high priestess. She knows. She's very tapped in spiritually. She receives all her downloads from spirit. She's usually by herself. That's maybe why you see her doing a lot of magic and abundant spells and really learning. The high priestess is not with a crowd. She's too busy educating herself. She's too busy mastering her intuition. The high priestess has a deep, ancient knowledge and wisdom about themselves that is very healing to one. And if what I'm thinking is true, this masculine has some sort of connection with this divine feminine. And there was some type of healing energy that was transmuted between the two. And this masculine... This divine feminine that's been nurturing this masculine back together. And all reality has been a high priestess. Has been somebody that has been really, really connected to the divine. And the high priestess also brings what's hidden to the surface. So this high priestess could may have told this masculine a couple of things about how they were living their lives. You know, how they needed to focus on, on the bright side of things or more on their career and their dreams. And it had this masculine go in hermit mode and pull back their energy from this connection that they was previously in. It had them pull back their energy and, and, and climb towards their higher self here. And look at this connection from a different perspective and realize what this connection was actually doing to their health and to their, what I'm hearing, um, 
to their name, to their status. Wow. I feel like this high priestess, as, as she was healing this masculine in whatever type of way y'all resonate with, this masculine was learning a lot about this high priest from this high priestess because she's very tapped in. She's someone that is trustworthy because they have ancient and, and, and hidden knowledge that really, really resonates. That really is true. And they also, when the high priestess steps into your life, it makes you have a major revelation because whatever it is that you didn't want to talk about or heal from, it causes you to talk about. It causes you to bring to the surface. So this masculine, this this feminine may be forced, this masculine, into a season of self-reflection. Like, hey, this is what you have to do. You got to pull back your energy for you to get back into yourself. For you to get back into who you really remember yourself to be. That's what the high priestess do. The high priestess is very nurturing. But the high priestess gives you the real. It makes you really realize what's really going on in your life. And the high priestess does not lie. Because the high priestess gets, gets everything from source. She, she, she utilizes her intuition. That's what's going on here. This high priestess kind of influenced. You know, I'm not even going to say make. Influenced this decision of this masculine to pull back his energy from this connection. That he was previously in. Okay. Because. It literally was causing him. Major major health problems. And blockages. That was very unhealthy. And scary. The person that he's with. Or was with in this courtship. Before he decided to pull back his energy. This person was two faced. It, literally a shapeshifter. It seemed to the outside and to the community, one way. Like everything was love and light. But in the inside, it was used to be a huge argument about this feminine's money. Look how close she holds in that money. And she is not trying to make any type of, um, you know, she's not trying to budge. To two completely different people. This masculine started to awake. To awake of this, this I'm learning that these two different sides that were shown was coming from one person. All right, and this feminine might not be too happy about this woman helping this masculine. She might not be too happy, baby. She might not be too happy that. This masculine is being helped in some sort of way by this high priestess that is very, very tapped in and spiritual and that's going to tell him the truth. The numbers here that could be significant is 41, 43, 64, 31, 13. All right. Yeah. And, um... Let's get some advice. So, Spirit, what is the advice of this masculine going through this bad health and the connection? He could possibly be with a mature woman, an older woman. All right? 64 could be significant. 46 could be significant. 36 or 63 could be significant. But this masculine is dealing with some type of mature woman. Maybe there's an age gap. And this masculine feels like they're just not in the connection the way they was in the past. It looks like a complete different energy. One is more stern and, you know, set in their ways. And one is just ready to take the world by storm. They could have been dealing with each other for 16 years. All right. With this one and this six. Okay. 46 again could be significant. 
Any advice again on this um, mature mature woman and this main male? Any advice on this mature woman and this main male and this partnership? Any advice for this mature woman and this main male? There's a, there's a decision that has to be made. Ooh, what I told y'all. What I told y'all. There's a decision that has to be made that is bright. That is bright. That is going to provide this masculine great fortune, but it involves the main female. Now, let me tell y'all something. This is very important because remember, I said any advice for this main male and this mature woman and his courtship. There's a pathway that one of them needs to choose. I think it's this masculine. It's a choice. And this pathway is going to involve great fortune. Great fortune is not only in money. It's in love. It's in peace. It's in good health. All right? Remember this woman that was nurturing this masculine. Look. But it involves another woman. Now, look at the numbers. Remember I said the numbers could be significant? Number one is the main male. Number six is the mature woman. Number two is the main female. We got a divine comp counterpart. There's a relationship that this masculine is in. Is a karmic. This is his real divine counterpart. One and two. Main male and main female. Not a mature woman. I'm sorry. I'm just calling how it is. This is not a divine counterpart. This is. And what did I say was the advice? The advice for this main male and this mature woman and this courtship is a choice that is very bright and that involves great fortune and good health. But it involves the real divine counterpart, unfortunately. Y'all saw me shuffle those cards. This is a divine union, number one, number two. Main female and main male here with great fortune and a, and a bright pathway. Now, do you want to stay in a relationship or in a courtship rather, not even married, a courtship that's creating you bad health? You choose. You choose. I love you guys. I know that cleared the ear. Divine counterpart that has a successful and bright path. Main male, main female, great fortune and pathway, all right? Because of this woman's, the divine, the main woman healing energy. For goodness sake, she got a rose in her hand. She's very, what I'm hearing, um, she's very innocent, very innocent. Look at that look, very nurturing. This is the pathway this masculine is going to go or should take if it's clear to him. It's a complete match. It's a complete match. This is not. I'm sorry. Y'all seen the cards for yourself. This is bad. This is all bad. Bad health. All right. So 33 on the clock. I love you guys. If you wanted my advice, Divine Masculine, continue to receive any support that you can from this person, whoever it is in your life, whether it's a romantic partner or not. It's working for you because it's allowing you to realize a lot of things and, and create healthy, you know, habits and, and remove you out of state of bad health, okay, and confusion. All right. Don't ever feel stuck. Things can change. And um, yeah, I love you.